This tutorial will show you how to create a simple app in ImagePro Premiere. ImagePro Premiere apps can allow users to walk through their specific imaging application with an easy step-by-step -step process. For this example, we'll first show you an imaging process using the regular tools in ImagePro Premiere. Then we'll show you how to create an app that would further simplify this process. So in this example, we have an image open. And let's say we wanted to first apply a filter and then we wanted to draw an ROI around some of these different objects in the image and then find all of the dark objects and count them. So the first thing we would want to do is go over to our process tab and turn on our 2D filters. Now we have a lot of different filters available for us. If we turn on our preview we can see how they affect our image but in this case we would want to apply a median filter to smooth out the background a bit. We'll apply that filter I'll go ahead and uncheck the preview. So now our filter has been applied. So the next thing we'll want to do is select some of these areas of interest in our image that we wanted to count the objects in. So we'll go to the select tab and click on the arrow next to the rectangle tool and we'll choose a polygon tool. And we'll go ahead and draw a few regions of interest on that image. We wanted to count all of the objects within these particular structures here. Okay, so those have now been selected. Next we'll go to our count size tab and we'll choose to find all dark objects. There we see we've found all the dark objects within those regions of interest and then we'll count and then measure all of the areas of those objects and we have our measurement results. So that was our step-by-step -step process. Now we'll show you how this can be further simplified by creating an app. So why don't we go ahead and we'll delete our measurements and we'll delete our regions of interest and we'll go back to a clean slate here. To create an app you need to go to the Automate tab and all of the apps are created using the scripting workbench which opens a new application window that allows you to edit macros and create new applications and projects. So we'll click on our scripting workbench and now you can see the scripting workbench workspace open. And the first thing you always want to do when you create a new app is first create a project. Projects hold apps and they also hold the modules where all of your macro recordings will, will be stored. So we'll go to our create new group up in the top left and choose create new project. You can give it your own name. I'll just keep project 22 as the name there. And now we have a new project available. Next we'll choose to create a new app. So when we choose the create new app button we can give it a name, so we'll say count objects. And now we have our app designer view opened. Basically what we see here is a gray box that would eventually become our dialogue that we're going to be creating. So I can pull on that to expand the size just slightly because I want it to be a little bit wider. Then what we'll do is we go over to our toolbox and you can basically drag and drop any of these tools into your app designer. You also have access to any of the macros that you've created as well as buttons and different commands that are available within ImagePro Premiere. For this example we'll just work with existing commands available in Premiere. So the first thing I'll do is find the filter tools that I want to apply to the image and in our example we had applied a median filter. So I'll go ahead and start typing in median in our toolbox filter here and there you see now we have the median filter displayed. I'll just click on that and drag it in and now we have a button in our app for the median filter. The next thing we did was we drew a region of interest around that image and you can see we have a number of different options here but if you, if you see that little white arrow next to the tools that means there's more tools available and these are all of the different tools that you have to draw a region of interest. In our example we chose the polygon tool. So we'll drag that in, line it up, Next thing we did was we found our dark objects. So I'll go ahead and I know that that is called find dark. So I'll type in find and sure enough we have find bright, find dark and manual options available. I'll choose a find dark, drag that in. And then finally we did a count to measure those objects. And there we have our buttons available. So now we have an app 
that we can start to play with here. The first thing you want to do before you can actually start really using the app in Premiere is load that app, which basically loads the project and makes sure that all of the tools within it work together and are available within Premiere. So we'll load our app. And now, when we close our scripting workbench, we see Count Objects is available up in this Apps group. So I'll click on that app, and there are the tools that we had just added to our app, the Median Filter, the Polygon ROI, Finding Dark, and Counting Objects. So why don't we give it a try? We'll go ahead and apply a Median Filter to that image. Now we'll click on our Polygon tool, and when we hover over the image, sure enough, we have our Polygon Drawing tool available for us, so we can start to draw and select those different structures that we wanted to find and measure the objects in. We'll click on Find Dark. Objects have been selected. And then we'll perform a count. So there's a quick and easy app. We've filtered, we've drawn our area of interest, we found dark objects, and we've counted those objects all within one dialog, step by step. The next thing we'll do is show you how you can further customize this app. So we'll close the app, and now we'll go back to our scripting workbench. We'll reopen the app, and you can see when we have the gray box around that app selected, we have properties over to the right that allow us to further customize the display of that app. So we can choose to add an author name, We can add a caption, and that's what would display below the app. So we'll say count dark objects is the caption, company name, media cybernetics, and then we'll say a description would be, well, we'll select and count all dark objects. And we can put our email address in there as well. and a web address. So now you have all of your contact information available in your app. By default, we have an app icon that looks similar to this blue button up here that you can display right on the app. But if you wanted to add your own custom icon, all you need to do is click to the right of that app icon. And now you have full access to all of our app icons that are available to us. If you didn't want to use these icons and you wanted to use one of your own, you can browse to a location on your desktop. And you can also include a company logo in with that app as well. So I'll go ahead and I'll browse to a logo that is available on my desktop. So now that we've customized our app display, we could also, if we wanted to, do the same thing for each of these buttons. You could change the name, you could change the icons. All you need to do is select that button and you have the same customization tools available to you in the properties menu for each individual button. Now we'll reload our app, go back to our Image Pro Premiere workspace, and now when we hover over that app we can see all of our customization is clearly displayed. The name, the description, and all of our contact information. We'll show you one more thing once you've created an app, and that is how you can produce an app or package an app. Once your app is complete, you have the option to package that app. You can choose to just create a regular package that would keep all of the tools available for others to do additional editing on. You can save it as a read-only package, which means others could see the code behind that app, but they don't have the ability to edit. Or you can choose to encrypt it as well, which means no one would be able to see any of the background tools um, using either designer or code view. And then finally, what we hope everyone takes advantage of is the ability to upload these packages immediately to our Solution Zone website. And when you choose this option, it'll take you right to the Solution Zone site where you can add all of the descriptive information about that solution, about the app that you're going to be uploading, and it'll automatically package it and upload it for you so others could download from the Solution Zone, right from within Premiere. And all of these apps are available to search using the Macro Explorer here on the right and choosing Search Solution Zone for more apps. So that's a quick overview of how you can create a simple app using ImagePro Premiere.
If you have any questions, please contact your local media cybernetics reseller or media cybernetics representative. Thank you.